Comes with a health warning, by the way. It's Japan versus Costa Rica. Japan, minus 235. Not in anyone's world would you think Japan would be minus 235. But the way that Costa Rica started, <laughs> the minus 700, there might be some value there if you're brave and you know which one's going to turn up. Costa Rica also, plus one at plus 120. Japan and Costa Rica is over two and a half goals or under two and a half goals with the over being the outsider at plus 100. The draw's a real runner here at plus 355. Pablos, you can go first. Costa Rica absolutely put to the sword by Spain, but Costa Rica's DNA says that there's not many goals here and they could well get a point. Yeah, I mean, if you look at how the two teams performed in, the, in their respective World Cup qualifier groups, uh, they were... Having uh, leaning heavily towards the under uh, Japan, they played 10 matches in the World Cup qualifiers, nine and one to the under two and a half goals with an average of 1.6 goals per match. That's really, really low. Um, and uh, when you look at Costa Rica in 14 matches, 10 and four to the under two and a half goals with an average of just 1.5 goals per match. So uh, we should be expecting. Uh, you know, statistically speaking, uh, a very low scoring match here. The under two and a half goals at plus 100. Even money, you know, it's it's really very, very tempting. Uh, however, Japan... Under two and a half is minus 120. What, what? Under two and a half is minus 120. Uh, yeah, under two and a half. Yeah, sorry, it's minus 120. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I do see very few goals here. However, I wouldn't be surprised. You know, Costa Rica, they were thrust by Spain in the first match. Uh, we should take that result with a grain of salt. I personally was expecting a, very, a, a much lower scoring match. Uh, but uh, Costa Rica, you know, they, they, they were thrust. And now they have very little, uh, you know, they, they already have very little chances to qualify from this group. And now they have to attack. They, anything other than a, than a win against Japan pretty much uh, uh, condemns them into the, into the bottom spot of the group. But uh, I do think that Japan will get the job done here. Uh, marvelous performance by Japan in the first uh, match against Germany. Came back from behind, scored a couple of goals. Uh, really awesome goalkeeper. The guy made like, what, seven, eight, nine saves uh, against Germany. So I think, uh, and more importantly, you know why I do respect them so much? Because the fans stayed after the game and they cleaned up the stadium. That's, that's you know... Good for them. Uh, yeah, all, all bets aside, that's good. That's a really nice... Uh, I don't care. Nice... They can throw their <laughs> cups where they like, for all I care. Pete, there's and people the that get paid to clean and the up. the rainbow appeared before the match. <laughs> what about that? Oh, did it? I didn't see that. But, uh, yeah, even so, I think this is a match where both teams will... You know, Japan would be more than okay with the draw here. Uh, yes. More than okay. They wouldn't be more than okay, but uh, it wouldn't be catastrophic for them. And maybe they'll play, they'll grind out Spain for uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe another point or something. But I still do think that Japan have a great A opportunity to beat Costa Rica and uh, essentially move on to the next round. Yeah, I certainly don't see more than two and a half goals in this game. I think Costa Rica could get something out of it. I think the draw is a real runner at plus 355. Remember, Japan and Costa Rica had really no chance to actually get through to the round of 16. Now, all of a sudden, if Japan beat Costa Rica and Germany don't beat Spain, Germany are out. Alex, Costa Rica, I'm, I'm, sure, I'm sure Japan this... don't beat Costa Rica. I, I'm... I... Japan don't beat Costa Rica, you said? Uh, yeah, right. I just think this could be a nil-nil. I mean, you can argue that uh, in the first round of uh, the World Cup, Costa Rica looked like the worst team uh, in the in the tournament. But um, I think that it was against Spain. I think that uh, Spain, Spain loves to play against teams like Costa Rica. They can score a ton of goals. Um, I don't know if Germany beat Spain, to be honest. Uh, but uh, a win for Japan means uh, almost, almost uh, uh, um, a place in the round of 16. Uh, if we, if we take the team uh, uh, one by one, Japan and Costa Rica, you can you can not say complete say different than Japan are the better side. They are they have players uh, playing at the some of the best uh, uh, teams uh, in Europe, like Minamino, or like Kubo, like, uh, I don't know, how, like Kamada, also one of them, uh, Sakai. So I think that uh, this uh, Japanese team not only has the quality, but they also have this fighting spirit that uh, it was amazing uh, 
um, in the first match against Germany. They still fought till the last minute of the game for the three points and they got it. And they got it against the German side that, I mean, they dominated for 60 minutes. If you see the stats, only 23% uh, possession for, uh, for Japan and only three shots on target and they scored twice. That was the problem of Germany. Um, I think that this game stays under, like you guys said. <laughs> I have another approach here. Um, I think that the first half will be very, very cagey. I think that uh, when two teams, okay, let's say that they're not separated like three classes. Japan are not three classes about Costa Rica, above uh, Costa Rica. Costa Rica will come in this match not to um, not to concede so many goals like they did against uh, Spain. Yeah, they've got and to get a bit they, of pride back first. Yeah, but uh, I don't think that they will go all guns blazing because they don't no. know how to attack and they don't have a, a, a real forward. Uh, they don't have a, a good midfield. So the, again, they will stay on two lines. Japan will probably dominate for on the entire match. And I don't think that we will see uh, again a lot of goals. So I'm going first half under one goal. So only if you have one goal is a push. If you get zero goals in the first half, it's a win. But I think that is a maximum of a push. I don't see more than one goal in the first half. You, you see what happened so far, right? The yeah. trend that in the first half, there are not so many goals. Everybody wakes up in the second half and they start to score, you know? So yeah. this is what I'm going with uh, here. OK, let's have a little look at the official picks. I've just got to tell you that to be careful, unless you're going to go with a total of goals, just be careful in this game because uh, Costa Rica have never let in many goals and they turned up and just said to Spain, how would you like us to set up that would make you look like the best team that's ever played this game? And they did exactly that. It's under two and a half goals for me at minus 120. First half, under one at minus 105 for Alex and Japan and under three and a half at minus 110. I fancy if Pavlos is going to win, it's going to be 1-0. Um, and remember to get yourselves in the chat. I love uh, all your contributions and those who are joining us for the very first time. Please feel free. Make sure you've subscribed. Get yourselves in the chat, but also um, have a chat amongst yourselves. 